You want to use two simple plays that are the most annoying Madden 24 plays to score easy one play touchdowns and beat up on any defense? Relax. You know I gotcha. We got a nice scheme for you guys today. Two passing plays and two running plays. We are in the gun tight flex formation and the plays are. P.A. post shot, mess spot, halfback counter, halfback draw. All these plays can be found in the Rams playbook with the exception P.A. post shot and halfback draw are also in the run and gun playbook. These plays can be combined for a nice, easy scheme to run against opponents and destroys every defense. Make sure your audibles have PA post shot, mesh spot, halfback draw, halfback counter. The first play is PA post shot. This play is unique because of the two routes that cross the field combined with the deep post routes. These two routes are great against man and zone defense with the two post route preferably to destroy man defense easily. For one play touchdowns. PA post shot, the play reads to the left are circle and then X. The play reads to the right, if it's a man defense, are triangle and square. If you want square to be open, streak your triangle receiver if you know it's man defense, and you'll get an easy one play touchdown from your square receiver. Now, reads going to the left are going to be circle and then X. Uh, don't matter what defense they're in, that circle route really just gets open against man defense, zone defense. The only way to really shut that route down is to actually use it. Now, you do also have this X route coming across the field that you can hit and pick up a lot of yards. Once they either go to the user on the circle route, you can come to that X route. But that's your reads going to the left. Zone or man, this circle route is going to be open, okay? You have to use it. We'll run it one more time. Make sure you have your fastest, best route running receiver in this position, and you'll score easy one-play touchdowns. Now, if they're coming out in the cover one and running a lot of cover one defenses, the two routes on the left are your man-beating routes. These deep routes, as long as you have speedy receivers, these routes will get open for easy one-play touchdowns. Now, if you want to hit this square receiver, I streak my triangle receiver, I smart route my square receiver, okay, to make him do his post route a little bit quicker. Uh, you can block the running back if you want to. Uh, make sure you have blocking, and then that triangle receiver will bring that safety off, and it'll leave this guy wide open for an easy one-play touchdown. The next play is mesh spot. This play is a good play because it complements PA post shot with most of the routes going the opposite way than the routes that were going for PA post shot. With a corner post route that destroys man defense, as long as you have a good wide receiver there, you also have other routes. The two drags at the bottom can destroy zone and man defense. And you also have this comeback route that destroys certain zone defenses. Your reads for this play going to the left are going to be X and triangle, and then if they're covered, you're going to look for circle to be open in the middle of the field. Be very careful. The middle of the field is user territory. Reads going to the right are going to be R1 quickly out of the backfield, triangle, and circle. If it's a man defense and you notice it, Wait for an easy one-play touchdown by your R1 receiver. The next play is Mesh Spot. Uh, I like to run this play stock. It really complements the other PA post shot. But my first read going to the left is square and then X. Okay, If they are covered, I like to go to circle. If they're covered, I like to go to circle. But against any type of man defense, and we'll run this a few times, 
That R1 wheel route out of the backfield is an easy one-play touchdown, and you do still have these two drag routes which get underneath zone plays, and they do beat man. So let's just run this a few times to the left. We'll look at square. Square is covered, so we'll just go to X. Uh, really great play. The X is the same route that is in that PA post, so you can just get used to throwing that because it'll be open most of the time. Uh, if it's covered, you can go to circle, but just be careful because circle sometimes is in the middle of that field, and that's user territory. Uh, but if it's any type of man defense, this R1 route is wide open for an easy one-play touchdown. Easy one-play touchdown. As long as you have patience and you notice that your person, if the person you're playing is calling a lot of uh, defenses where he's doing a lot of man defense or he's manning people up, manning that running back up, that's an easy one-play touchdown as long as your running back is fast enough. Okay? Um, now, along with that R route, you do have that triangle receiver coming over where you can get that open and pick up a lot of yards. Uh, it's a really great play, just running it stock. If you really want to throw that square route, I do sometimes just streak this triangle receiver, and I'll see if I can fit this square route in between that because that actual triangle receiver pulls that safety off. As you see right here, the safety usually will come over there and help. It'll keep these guys off for a second. As you see, that cornerback is paying attention to the streak, and it lets this guy get open. Okay. And that right there, that route will cause headaches for your opponent because it looks kind of like he's doing that mesh, that PA pull shot route but he stops. So if your opponent is running with him, he'll run past that stop. Okay. So let's hit this triangle. It's just a lot of great routes with just these two simple plays, guys. Let's go over the um, run plays after we throw this touchdown with this guy. Let's go over the run plays. Now, I do wish I had more run plays for you guys, but I just got two. But the passes are good enough that you'll have a great time. And if you can establish a decent run game, this scheme will come into full circle. Now, the first run is the draw. Uh, you just to wait and see how the blocks develop and just pick your yards up. Do not just run directly. Kind of sit back, wait, don't press turbo. Let's see how those blocks develop and let's get out to the open. And are we going to do something here? Are we going to do something here? And then you just let your blocks develop. With those passing plays, this play is going to be great. It's going to be great, okay? Now, here's the halfback counter, okay? One thing I always do is I also I always ID that outside guy or double team him, okay? You can run it this way and just pick your yards up. We'll pick up a lot of yards. You don't want to hit turbo until after you're past the line of scrimmage and in the open, okay? Another thing I like to do with this is I like to motion this guy over. Okay, motion this guy over. I'll sometimes max protect, and I'll run that. That blocking sometimes helps, and we can get out here and get more yards that way, okay? Now, that motion, if you're running that motion and you want to motion this receiver over like we're doing for this counter, motion him over for the draw as well. Motion him over every once in a while for the pass plays. Just make your opponent think that that's either a pass or a run. That's how you cause the confusion in this play. Now that you have a new scheme to destroy your opponents in Madden 24, don't stop there. Improve your defense to get a complete package. Watch this video to learn how to strip the ball in Madden 24. Take your Madden game to a whole nother level.